All right, welcome back to Summit Railway. Last time I removed this big pile of dirt right here. I finished building the retaining wall and I smoothed out the area to grow grass, which is coming through right now. Today we are digging out the pathway. I will also smooth out this area and we are going to clear a path for the track, which will go right here. That's the project for today, so buckle up and have some fun. Oh, and we are going to remove this bush. So far so good, the dead plant is removed. I dug out the channel for the um, walkway and now I can start digging this direction. There I have to go way deeper. All right, that's my progress so far. I dug out all the perimeter of this new walkway, about 20 centimeters in depth to get in a good sub base and right here is a slot for a box which will house all the signal box wiring and stuff. <laughs> a little further I dug out the channel where the single track will uh, go through and this is the final two meters of the path. So that's the progress for today. I have dug out the channel for the wiring. I will lay the wires in this flexible pipe which is made for wiring underground. I just rough cut them in. Here is the electrical box and then the wiring will go through this channel. I have to think about those ends here. Uh, I don't know how, how I will protect them, but I will think about it and will find a solution. I have decided before I bury the pipe, I will put in this pulling wire to pull all my other cables through. Okay, next try, much stiffer wire and I try to straighten it out right off the bat, so let's see what it can do. This is working way better. Oh shoot. Way better but not good enough. So my next idea is to use compressed air and blow this rack and the rope attached to it through the pipe. Thank you. 
Alright, since the last method didn't work either, I'm now trying it with some fencing wire. So let's do it. Going good. As I told you before, those pipes will encase my underground wiring for signals, switches and so on. The question was how to prevent dirt from going into those pipes. And now my solution is to um, concrete in this pipe right here in the dirt. The big pipes will go on go in through those big holes and I drilled small holes um, to allow the wires to go to the outside. All of that will be capped with those caps so I have access whenever I want and this whole pipe will be encased in concrete Here we go, the pipe is nicely surrounded by concrete, this should be stable. We've got small holes to route the wires through and we've got the big inlet pipe where all the wiring is coming from and we've got two pipes coming in right here because this is a much more crowded area regarding switches and signals and then we will route all the wires in this corner right here where a small signal box will be installed. It is the next day on the project, the concrete has hardened up overnight so I can backfill the holes and then I go ahead, level off the station area to a rough grade, lay down root fabric and then I can lay down the track base. That's what we're gonna do next.
The area is now level, so we are ready to set the pond liner. So far so good, track base is in, right here I ran out but I will get more tomorrow and that's it for the track base. So next step will be track laying and I'm so excited about. <laughs> 